Hi, I'm fashion stylist Kelly Daggett and I'm here today with Speedo Sculpture to give you the best style tips to encourage you to jump back into the water and take the plunge. We understand that a lot of women don't um, feel um, confident about wearing swimwear and they're never sure which one to choose, what suits them. Um, so we're going to arm you with some tips and some advice on how to feel body confident. Balance is really, really important when you're buying swimwear, as much so as it is when you're buying your ordinary wardrobe. You're looking for um, hiding those bits that you're not comfortable with and enhancing the bits that you are really comfortable with. So if you're slightly smaller on top, um, to give the illusion of maybe um, having slightly bigger boobs and giving you more of a shape, any detailing on top here, so this panelling detailing here and this little um, ruching along the top, this will help add kind of an illusion of more shape. If you've got bigger boobs, steer away from a bandeau. This will only make your shape um, look flat. You need to kind of enhance that area with a deep V um, and always work with either halter neck um, and good supportive straps that perhaps have um, adjustable detailing that will help keep you really well supported. If you've got quite a boyish figure, then look for swimsuits that have kind of detailing or panelling down the side. So similarly, if you were buying a dress and you wanted to add curves, you'd perhaps look for a two-tone effect. One of the biggest issues people have when choosing swimwear um, is deciding on what colour suits them. And lots of people will just go for the classic black because they think that's the most slimming and the most flattering. And there's always going to be a place for that, but what um, the new Speedo Sculpture range have tried to do is introduce new tones and new patterns and new colours that kind of complement um, most skin tones. If you've got more of an olive skin tone, this colour would work really well for you. And if you're looking for something a bit brighter, there's the bold, simple colours without the patterning that would be great if you're kind of um, blonde, lighter blonde, lighter skin tone. This is great for lifting um, a paler skin tone, adding a bit of colour. A few top tips for accessorising your swimwear um, would always be to get a waterproof bag, um, either something like this or a selection like this, to always have kind of somewhere to put your, your shampoo, your locker key. I would say predominantly people are really uncomfortable with their bums and their thighs and if you are on the beach then the best solution for this is just a really nice simple lightweight sarong that you can just easily wrap around and equally, if you're at the gym and you still feel exactly the same, then this is easily done with a really nice towel. And if you've got issues with your tummy and you're not feeling confident in that area as well, this is the perfect thing. The, the waistband can just sit low on your hips and kind of hide all that area that you're not feeling most comfortable with. I think there's a bit of a misconception about the one-piece bathing suit, um, that people think it's just for swimming um, in a more sporty environment. But actually some of the most beautiful women in the world will be found wearing um, fabulous one-piece bathing suits on their holidays. 